What up dudes, Chosh back with another one and today we're going to be looking at power pads and foot plates on all these wheels. So the different setups I have for them. Some people wanted just to see the, you know, kind of the style I'm working with for the power pads and foot plates to see how I got them set, uh, which ones I'm rolling with, which wheels I got them on, and I'll show you all that real quick. So this is right here is basically like my jump wheel and this is my like hardcore uh, trail riding wheel right here guys. This is my current setup for it. I have the Clark Pad 3D Extremes on here and then the Clark Pedals. And on this side, I got one of the new Clark Pedals and then on this side, I got the prototype Clark Pedal. And it's just because um, I ended up bending one of the prototypes. The prototypes were made out of weaker material than these, um, the new ones. But the new Clark Pedals guys are the cream of the crop. These are so nice. The Grub screws in here hold the magnet in place. It's not just glued down in there. Um, if you move these pads out of the way, these actually fold up and then the magnet holds them against the wheel. I just like my power pads to be a little bit lower um, than what these were designed to be uh, for. And they have individual studs in each one of these guys. So with the prototypes, it just has um, CNC studs in there. And <clears throat> with the actual production model Clark pedals, this is the big part on it that I love. And this is why they're so grippy, is because you have these um, actual CNC studs in here, guys. And these can be replaced. If they wear down over time, you can actually replace them. And, I mean, they hold your foot on so good. It's, it's awesome. They're great. And I just love the look of them. Any snow and mud as well, guys. Any snow and mud you get on your foot, as soon as you step on these, it just pushes it through here, and then you're, you'll be good to go. You can actually um, get full use out of the pedals, even if your foot is wet, covered in debris, anything like that, which typically you can't do with other pedals. Even if they're spiked pedals and they don't, and they um, just have no pass through on them, then all that mud and stuff is just going to cake up in your spikes, whether it be ice or snow or anything like that. And you're just going to slide around everywhere and it's not good so having an actual pass through on these clark pedals is just the coolest thing ever and it works so well with mud and snow especially i got the uh, cst tire on here uh the navi cst tire this this tire is great um for everything except for tight on-road cornering guys so this is great for pretty much everything off-road every every type of off-road terrain just on concrete, if this thing is fully inflated to what it's supposed to be, there is just awkward scenarios you'll get uh, cornering with this tire. And I can't really explain why, it's just the dynamics of it. But the trade-off for the performance off-road is definitely worth it. This right here is an EUC army stand. This is a, a guy named Sean Duffy on Facebook. Uh, 3D prints these and they're um, it's not quite as good as the, the that's the Clark stand right there those are expensive those are like $70 uh, this one is a little bit cheaper and it does the trick and you can take it apart into three different sections and uh, throw it in a backpack and then you got a stand if you for, for your wheel um, that one's much this one's you can actually do like work on it and whatnot this is the Clark stand this one's just more kind of set it and just kind of hold it. This one you could actually wrench on your wheel while it's in this stand over here in the Clark stand. On the Inmotion V12 on this wheel, again, I got the uh, Clark Pad Extreme 3D on here and love these pads, guys. Love them. This, this is why these are the two main wheels I've been riding right here. Uh, my old, old M Super Pro and then the Inmotion V12 and I get them both with the Clark, uh, Clark Pad 3D Extremes just so I can kind of keep that feel universal going between both of them and not really uh, change my feel too much whenever I'm doing my day-to-day -day riding with these two wheels. Uh, these foot plates, I've had them on here on my V12 pretty much since I got it. I love these foot plates. Um, one thing to note on your foot plates, guys, on the V12 is if you... If you do put in that grub screw on the bottom, make sure there's a flat on that bar. And this sounds crazy, guys, but the flat part on that bar and that bottom grub screw can really, if it's not, say on one side, if it's on that flat part of that grub screw, on the actual bar that runs in here, 
Um, it's not like this on any, on any other wheel I've come across. But if you um, put it on the flat part of that grub screw on one side and then on the round part on the other side, what it's going to do is make your pedals uneven. And this happened happened the other day and I was on like a fast road and I couldn't get over 36 miles an hour without pulling extremely hard to the right. And I was like, dude, what is going on? I, I switched my footing up. I did everything that I could do and it was because it was my first time going fast after I had recently taken these pedals off and done maintenance to this wheel. And upon putting them back on, one side, the, the uh, screw was pushing that flat part up and on the other side, it was pushing the round part. And um, it's, you might not even understand what I'm saying by that, but it's the actual like rod that's in here it has a flat part on it and it just, literally made the difference in the two very small, but it was enough to where at 36 miles an hour plus, it would pull off to one side. And so little things like that, guys, you gotta like pick up on it and, and, and fix, you know, cause um, I, I tried fighting it. I thought it was me all day. I was like, dude, what am I doing wrong? Is it the power pads? What is it? And it was something really small and something you would never really think of. These power pads right here, these are the EUC side pads. And these right here are the, these are the Governor XLs. These are great. I love these power pads as well. These two are probably my favorite favorites right here. The Clark Pad 3D Extremes and then the EUC side pad uh, Governor XLs. I really like both of these because of the sweep in the back right here for your Achilles tendon and your Achilles heel. Um, both of these are very good. If you get them set right, um, they just feel good, man, to break on the back because other ones just have a little hot spot right there and you don't want to get a blister or have a hot spot on your brakes. And um, these two, these two right here. So Clark Pad 3D Extreme and EUC Side Pad Governor XLs. Those are ones I like. And then these foot plates on this wheel, guys, this is my M Super X 100 volt, very lightweight wheel, but fast wheel, 100 volt wheel, my fastest 100 volt wheel or actually my lightest weight 100 volt wheel, I should say. These are the Merlin Fish foot plates on here, guys. And you could literally make these foot plates yourself if you wanted to. Uh, these are literally the normal um, foot plates, literally just like stock foot plates with the grip tape taken off of the top of them and then uh, screw holes tapped into them for little grub screws. And these are little like tiny grub screws and on the back, it's hollow under here. So there's room for the back of the grub screw heads to uh, fit under here. And then you, you screw this plate down and you have studded foot plates on here that are actually really good. And these are aggressive. The only bad thing about these guys, these are wonderful in dry conditions. As soon as you get these things wet, or as soon as they get muddy, what happens is the mud, the ice or dirt or whatever it may be, it'll cake up. And it'll cake up to the point to where it cakes up past the top of, of the spikes. And then once that happens, the spikes are just useless. And so having foot plates like these, um, uh, <clears throat> like these free motion foot plates or like the Clark foot plates, you can actually have your mud and snow and ice and whatever it may be get pushed through it and then they still operate. And it, they don't get um, just coated and iced up to where they don't work anymore. And so this is the only downfall. So like if you were riding in mud and ice and dirt and like where it can get uh, caked up, then these are not good. You wanna have a pass through pedal for um, that type of riding. But for your dry riding, these are great, man. Your grip on these are phenomenal. It's great. And then these, these are some just uh, bumpers. I've seen those before, some 3D printed bumpers. Feel it. I'm actually working on this wheel right here and redoing this wheel. And um, this is probably the wheel I have the most miles on out of all of them. You can probably tell that just by the way it looks. This is ridiculous, man. I've put this thing through hell. And this is the old M Super V3S. I've had to replace the motherboard in it with a upgraded um, M Super Pro motherboard and it didn't even fit. And it was just because the wires on the old motherboard went sideways in the old V3S. And that was why you could have this slim shell. With the new wheels, they actually, um, 
uh, have more batteries in it they made them wider and then so with the motherboard you could have the wires come out straight and so they didn't have any motherboards for this specific wheel anymore because it's so old this is like early 2017 i got this wheel and then so i had to get the uh, m super pro motherboard for it and i made it fit by cutting a hole in the side of it and then I literally just epoxied like, you know, one of those clamshell packages for like a kitchen knife or something like that. That was like perfect. So I opened it all up, dremeled this all out. The wires are sticking out. And then I epoxied a uh, piece of that clamshell packaging that was perfect. Put that over it and then um, covered that and more uh, caulk. I caulked over it and then siliconed it down. And then I put this... Uh, mouse pad material over the top of all of it and then glued that down and it actually had to make the side up here wider to meet this because this is larger now in order to fit a power pad on it without it um, you know pushing in too far I had to build this up with literally this is just like four mouse pads on here and I built the side up with that so that would fit and these are the um, Kai pads you see on here and these are all, I had these on my Sherman at one time. I'm going to be doing some more um, riding with these when I get the chance to, but these are awesome. They actually have some flex in them. If you, I'll link these below as well. These are called the Kai Pads. They have some flex in there. And you, if you get these dialed in, dude, these are awesome. And combined with like some baby bumper foam padding or either like putting some neoprene on the outside of these, man, these are going to be, these are just awesome. I love these. I love these power pads. I just haven't got a chance to ride with them and film with them much, but more is on the way with them for sure. I, I want to put them on this wheel. So I was gonna put them on on this wheel, this wheel, on the Yamaha wheel, the blue power pads on it. But the thing is, the the Velcro on this wheel was the wrong way, and so I have one set of power pads with the Velcro reversed from the way I have all the other ones. So I can't really use um, any different ones. Like I, with all the other ones, I can just pretty much swap them out quick. With this one, I was an idiot and put the Velcro on the wrong way from the, all, all the other ones. So that's literally why I haven't used the blue power pads yet in many, in many of my videos. These are the original Clark pads right here. These are great. Um, I love these. These are just quite deep. Um, these are kind of the, the first start to people really hitting big jumps and sending it because you could lock in. Like, you see how deep those are, man. You could lock in hard. And they just aren't adjustable in the back, but pretty much they're right for everybody. And can't go wrong. These are the original Clark Pads. And these are the Clark Pad Gen 2s. Clark Pad Gen 1s, Clark Pad Gen 2s. And the Gen 2s were just a little bit slimmer. You see that so you could um upon like hitting bumps or a scenario where you needed to use your full range of motion in your in your, your uh, knees you could flare it out past this because what would happen with these if you came into bumps and you were locked all the way into this you'd get an effect where you would literally just like you'd hit a bump and you'd pin it wide open man if, like if your weight pushed into this in a weird way after hitting a bump, you'd kind of lock into it and it would just fucking, it just, just take off full send. And so I was like, hey, like if you can make some that were a little bit slimmer. So upon the occasion where I'm like hitting some bumps or something or coming into something where I'm expecting it to get a little um, hairy, like, you know, like turbulence on an airplane or something, I can flare my legs out past this and just have my legs acting like the shock absorbers and then not hitting this and just accelerating it at random times. And so that was the whole thought behind um, changing the thickness on the pads. And you can still get these if you want to. You can get these and you can get these and you can also get these right here. And these right here are some really um, affordable power pads. If you just wanna get into it and just kinda of see what's up. If you have a smaller wheel like an MCM5, um, 16s anything like that really these are really good for that guys and they also work for the bigger wheels but you just don't have the as, as much surface area on the back to put your velcro and so um, with all the force of your foot 
it just doesn't have the surface area to grab on quite as well but these are very affordable and if you aren't an extremely aggressive rider i would definitely suggest start with these to see if you want to even try power pads out and you can get um a discount on these from the link below these are the euc side pads all of them so you got the the kai pads the euc side pads the um clark pad gen ones clark pad gen twos clark pad 3d extremes and then on this wheel on my sherman these are the these are the euc side pads as well these are just covered in mouse pad material and then on my exn the white ones are also the e you go to exn these are the euc side pads as well but these are these are the governor xls these are just in white these are the same ones you saw on this wheel the on the yamaha wheel yamaha graphics these are the same exact ones just in white um, I've put a lot of miles on these. I raced at Doris Ranch with these, and then I rode that 25 mile loop around Waldo Lake with these. And um, man, like I, I gave these, I put these things through hell, and like straight up, they worked out. But I um, did my gnarliest day of riding ever with these for sure. And I ended up getting one little hot spot on the back, but I think that'd have been the case with any side pads after 25 miles of single track riding on like roots and rocks and the hardest crap I'd ever ridden in my life. Um, but yeah, and then on this one as well, these are the Clark pads, or on this, on my race wheel, these are the Clark pedals. And these are the actual production model Clark pedals on this wheel, um, both sides, and they are phenomenal. I love them. I love how you can get into the corners. I love how you can angle them. These are sweet. Uh, definitely um, you can see the difference so these these right here are the free motion pedals and these are the Clark pedals you can kind of see the difference that's so free motion over here Clark pedals over here um, for racing I definitely would want the Clark pedals for casual riding and everyday uh, use and just you know messing around for the everyday person I think uh, the free motion pedals are plenty plenty enough but if you're really an aggressive rider, you ride in snow and mud, and you really want the ultimate traction, then go with the Clark pedals. Because you can just see the difference. The nubs on these are gnarly compared to these. These are little tiny nubs. These are, these are thick, aggressive nubs. 